Hey Internet, for this video I'm going to show some settings to increase the user privacy in Windows 10. These are settings I personally use for Windows 10. It isn't complete privacy, but in my opinion it's the best one could do without much compromise on the operating system. Windows 10, unlike its previous versions, is trying to be more like mobile devices. Much of your information will be sent to the cloud to quote, improve the supposed Windows 10 experience. Some people like myself enjoy the old Windows where there was not much if any cloud integration. I just don't like the idea of Microsoft collecting any information from me even if it is solely for improving the operating system. If you want to use something completely private you shouldn't be using Windows 10 or even a Mac. Get Tails or some other Linux distro that specialize in privacy instead. I was a victim of identity theft in the mid 2000s and believe me that was an absolute nightmare to fight through. Even though these days the internet is probably more secure, at the same time it's also much easier to have your information getting stored in the cloud and all it takes is some big hack on a database to have a person's life essentially ruined. With all of that being said, let's begin. Note if you really like using Cortana, then close this video since that's going to be the first thing I disable. Hit start and click the settings cogwheel icon. Turn off Cortana. Microsoft is honest with this and they tell you information type is stored in the Microsoft Cloud in order for Cortana to be used. I don't know about others but I don't feel comfortable with the fact everything I type is stored in the Microsoft servers even if it is likely never to be looked at by anyone. Turn off device search history. This basically saves anything you searched for on the computer. Turn off search online. You're better off using Google Chrome on incognito to do online searches. Note this isn't private but it's better than this thing plus you wouldn't want your local searches to be cluttered with online results. Also another note I'm not disabling things in the specific order I'm going as how I remember them. Type privacy on the search box. Click privacy settings. On general turn off everything. I don't even have an advertising ID. Why would I need one? Smart screen is okay to have on, but my personal policy is turn off anything that sends information to Microsoft. Um, Microsoft learning how I write. No thanks. This last one sounds useful, but I mean now your computer is being profiled by what languages are enabled. This information could quite possibly be also used to identify your race based on language. Location. I guess if you're using a laptop and are always on the go, this might be okay to leave on. For me personally, since this is a desktop, I have it disabled. I know our cell phones are probably tracking us, but at least it's one less device knowing where I go and whatnot. Click speech, inking, and typing. I think this is disabled by default. If you care about privacy, you wouldn't want your contacts, speech, handwriting pattern, and typing history uploaded in the cloud. If there was ever a massive hack on Microsoft's cloud servers, this would enable bad guys to more convincingly steal identities. Type on the search, Accounts. Click add, edit, or remove users. Click sync your settings. Have everything here off. If you didn't make a Microsoft account, these should be off already. I don't like having this on because it saves browsing history, passwords, and Windows settings on the cloud. Yeah, it's pretty convenient 
for ones actually using the Microsoft account. But if you're not using a Microsoft account, don't even bother having this on. Go back to settings. Click update and security. Windows update. Advanced options. Choose how updates are delivered. Turn off send parts of previously downloaded Windows update. This saves bandwidth. If you leave this on, this essentially makes your computer sort of like BitTorrent for Windows updates. Go back. Back again. Back again to settings. Click network and internet. Click Manage Wi-Fi Settings. Here's some options that I haven't turned off yet. Mostly because this is a desktop, so this is for you laptop users. Scroll down to Wi-Fi Sense. Turn off Connect to Suggested Open Hotspots. Also, turn off Connect to Networks Shared by My Contacts. Malicious people could open Wi-Fi hotspots in public places, and any of those connected will have their internet activity monitored for possibly nefarious purposes. If you have Windows laptop automatically connecting to these networks, theoretically these people could look through your stuff or at least see what websites you're visiting. Always manually connect to Wi-Fi. Only connect automatically to trusted networks like your house. Go back to privacy. Feedback and Diagnostics. Have Windows never asking for feedback. And send your device data to Microsoft as basic. I think non-Windows 10 Pro users will have at the lowest enhanced option for sending device data. Correct me if I'm wrong. Remember, Windows 10 is far from a privacy-oriented operating system. The best we can do is minimize the data sent to the Microsoft Cloud. And that's it. Comment if you know any other privacy tricks that I did not cover. Leave a like if you found this video useful. And thanks for watching.